Welcome to part 10 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by Peerplay. In the previous part we made our spectrum data stereo and in this part we will divide our spectrum into 64 bands instead of only 8. Here you can see a visualization that I've created using the 64 bands we are going to make. If you would like to know how I've created this and learn more about making an entire visualization then you can download this complete project on my Patreon. Included are these sliders with which you can customize the visualization. Bring the audio threshold a little bit lower. Changing the ball emission. Changing materials. The lighting. And the time scale on the audio. All the code in this project is provided with comments. So follow the link in the description to my Patreon page and become a patron. For a few bucks you support me in making these tutorials and get access to all of the source files. Now let's get into the script, making 64 audio bands. We will continue working in our audio peer class. Before we make our 64 bands, this is a good point to clean up the script and get rid of all the static floats. So let's start at the top and work our way down. The samples left and right don't have to be static, but they can be private. So let's say private float. Now this one can be a private too, private, private, and a private float and another one here. Now the audio band and the audio band buffer we want to reach from another script. So let's remove the static and keep it public. But because they are a public uh, float arrays, we will not set its length in here, but we will set that in the start. So remove this line and remove this line too here. And put this on the same uh, line here. And we don't need to see them in the inspector, so we can say hide in inspector. So in the start function, we will say that audio band is a new float array of length 8. Now that that's set up, we can do the same with the amplitude and amplitude buffer. We'll make it public and we'll say hide in the inspector. We'll say that the uh, amplitude highest is a private float and these are all the values. Now we can start scripting our 64 audio bins. And for this we are going to copy paste a lot of values. First of all, I want these four values and I'm going to paste it here. Let's uh, declare here that these are the values for the audio 64. And we're going to change these names to 64, all of them. And their length too. Now we also need the audio band and audio band buffer for the 64 bands, so let's call this uh, 64 and 64 and we'll declare them in the start function as well as the other two. Now we are going to create the three different functions that are the make frequency bands, band buffer and the create audio bands, but then for the 64 ones. Let's start off with making the make frequency bands. So scroll down to the make frequency bands we will select the entire uh, void and we'll paste it here. Let's change it to make frequency band 64 and the for loop is going to be a length of 64. Now in here we have to split the 512 samples into 64 bands so we have to divide them into something that's useful. So I've made this division where the first 16 um, bands are going to be one sample, the second 16 are going to be two samples, then 8 will have four samples, another 8 will have six samples, the other 8 will have 16 samples and then 32 samples, coming to a total of 512. So we will put this into script and the script will be a little bit different from the make frequency bands for 8 bands. Now instead of declaring the sample count inside of the for loop, we will declare this outside of the for loop. 
So I will comment this out and say here that the int sample count is 1. I'm also going to create an integer called power and this integer says that every time the looping through 64 bands when it's hit 16, 32, 40, 48 or 56 then the power will increase and the power will put inside the sample count formula. So we can use this if statement here uh, and change this to 16 or if i is equal to 32 40, 48 or 56 then the sample count is going to be 2 to the power of power and of course the power must be uh, become higher so power plus plus and there's just one thing because uh, this would make it 1 2 4 8 16 32 but here it has to become a 6 because otherwise we'll get above the 512 so we can simply fix this by an if statement if the power is equal to 3 then the sample count minus is 2 and if we scroll down we can do the average here times 8 and also change the frequency band to frequency band 64 now let's clean up this script remove this we can remove these comments and we of course have to instantiate the mic frequency bands 64 inside the update so let's put it there and now we can go on with the band buffer so let's scroll down to the band buffer and we can copy paste this too now here we have to just change every thing to 64 and 64 there you go and the band buffer should be 64 now scroll back up copy this one and say here 64 and the same thing goes for the create audio bands go down to the create audio bands copy this paste it we'll call it create audio band 64 and change all the variables to 64 now just put this into the update And that should be all for having 64 audio bands. Now remember, we have changed the static floats to public floats. So if we are in another script, then we should reference to this audio peer. So you can say that audio peer, audio peer. And if you make this public, and you can just specify the object that this audio peer class is on. And then you can just reach the values with audio peer dot and then get the audio band that you want to use. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up or leave a little thank you. If you want to stay updated with new tutorials, subscribe to the channel. To support me, you can become a patron on Patreon and you'll get access to all the source code. See you next time.